when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made. He took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. If you examine the behavior patterns of different groups of people today, you will know a lot about them. For example, if you observe the descendants of slaves behavior, it corresponds with the behaviors of the ancient Israelites. Those who proclaim to be the descendants of the Israelites do not in any way display the same characteristics or behavior patterns of the ancient Israelites. The imposters have a new name, a new appearance, and a different mindset than their so-called ancestors. Israelites, by examining their behavior is one way for you to know that the people the world accept to be the Israelites are not who they proclaim to be. I brought up the behavior patterns of our ancestors to show you how the awakened Israelites are doing exactly what our forefathers have done in the past by rejecting the Messiah. I can understand why many reject the Messiah. The synagogue of Satan have polluted our scriptures and made a mockery of our culture. Satan transformed our culture into a religion. The Most High revealed to us in the book of Daniel that the scriptures are sealed. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. In addition to the scriptures being sealed, the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth and the spirit of the Most High, is the comforter and the helper the Most High sent to assist us. The Holy Spirit is to reveal to us the things to come as well as truth. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. The heathens who brought to us religion, as well as the interpretation of the scriptures, do not possess the Holy Spirit. The scriptures reveal to us that those who are of this world cannot receive the Holy Spirit because they do not know him, nor do they know the Elohim of Israel. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Israelites, the Most High said to us that the world could not receive his spirit because they do not know him. How can the so-called Bible scholars interpret our culture manuscript if the Holy Spirit of the Most High is not with them? A person must have the Holy Spirit to understand the scriptures. If they do not have the Holy Spirit, they will come up with their own interpretations of the scriptures. The scriptures said that our people would take heed to doctrines of devils and seducing spirits. The birthplace of these doctrines come from human wisdom supported by the kingdom of darkness. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Israelites, it is the Most High that gives understanding. If the Most High do not open your eyes to understand the scriptures, you will never understand the Bible. This is why many Israelites substitute the Holy Spirit with books written by heathens to back up their claims. Human wisdom cannot decode the sealed scriptures. The Most High must give you the authority to interpret the sealed scriptures. It does not matter how altered the scriptures are, the Holy Spirit will fill in the blank to the missing scriptures and alterations. If you have the Holy Spirit, you do not need any additional books to understand the scriptures. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Many awakened Israelites do not know how to interact with the Holy Spirit. That is why they use the heathen's book to support their finding. Because many Israelites are not utilizing the helper the Most High gave to his people, they are confused. Some Israelites believe the New Testament is false. Other Israelites believe the Messiah have yet to come. And another group believe there is no Messiah, it is only Yah. In addition, some Israelites believe David was the Messiah. 
All of this confusion stems from the kingdom of darkness. The scripture said the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. If Yah is not the author of confusion, Satan is the one planting those seeds in the Israelite community to spread confusion. Israelites, once you recognize the problem, you must attack the problem at its roots. Do not give the spirit of confusion the opportunity to spread. You have learned the root to all your problems is in the spirit realm. You have to pray against the spirit of confusion. Ask the Most High to reveal the truth as well as giving you understanding to serve him in the spirit and in the truth. Many Israelites want the heathens and strangers to bow down and serve them. Many Israelites have become proud. That is far from what the Most High intended for his people that are in captivity. If you understood the position we are in right now, you would be on your knees praying and fasting, then boasting and fighting your people. Now that you understand the Most High has nothing to do with the heathen's interpretation of the Bible, the kingdom of darkness led by their leader, Satan, is the one who gave his seed the interpretation of the scriptures. Once the synagogue of Satan altered the scriptures to their liking, Satan sent his seed into the world to indoctrinate the indigenous population of their version of our family sacred text. The doctrines our people have been brainwashed with in religion do not stem from the most high. The synagogue of Satan's interpretation of the scriptures purpose is to get the world to rebel against the most high. The serpent seed utilized the scriptures to put themselves in a position of leadership, power, and control over the indigenous population. By doing this, it gives Satan control over the physical realm. This is why the scriptures reveal Satan is the God of this world. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Many people are worshiping Satan through their religious beliefs. Yah is not the founder of religion. Due to the synagogue of Satan's manipulation of our history book, the Bible, I can understand why many Israelites have rejected the Messiah. Israelites, you must learn how to separate the doctrines of devils from truth the Holy Spirit is revealing to you. Before we get into the breakdown of the doctrines of devils, first, you must understand there are two messiahs. Satan has a counterfeit for everything the Most High has done and prophesied to do. You must understand that there are two messiahs, Israelites. This is the reason the tale series exists. In today's language, Satan's imitation of Yah's prophecy is known as duality. There is the Messiah that came in the Father's name and was rejected. Many do not know him because the synagogue of Satan have removed the Father's name out of the scriptures. In addition, changed the Messiah's name. The synagogue of Satan have removed Yahshua and the Father from the scriptures. The world do not know the Most High in Yahshua. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. The people who are in organized religion do not know the Messiah that came in the Father's name. There is the Messiah that came in his own name, and the world have accepted him. Everyone know the Messiah that came in his own name. Do not mistake the two. If you can differentiate between the two, your journey will be less confusing. I have a Tales video on the two messiahs. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Many awakened Israelites are confusing the two messiahs as well as the doctrines that stem from Satan. I have seen comments from Israelites, agents, and trolls saying that even if you change his complexion and name, he is still false. That statement revealed to me that you have accepted the doctrines of the synagogue of Satan. The Messiah, the synagogue of Satan created to have the world worship Satan is false and is not to be worshiped nor followed. The image that the serpent seed has programmed into our mind of what the Messiah looked like and the people who proclaim to be the chosen people are fraud. Therefore, we should not follow the doctrines of the serpent seed. According to the synagogue of Satan, the Messiah that came in his own name is supposed to be the most high in the flesh. Due to the false doctrine, many awakened Israelites reject the Messiah and refuse to believe the New Testament. Israelites, there is a reason the Most High warned us about the doctrines of devils. Remember, the scriptures must be fulfilled. Yes, Yah said there should be no other gods before him. Thou 
shalt have no other gods before me. Absolutely, there should be no other gods before Yah. Satan has to get his worship somehow. Satan deceived the masses with a false image of the Messiah creating an idol. The Most High command his people not to worship any graven images, nor make any images of any deity. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. The synagogue of Satan ignored the scriptures commanding the people not to worship graven images. The Roman Catholic Church bowed down to many graven images. Satan made the world believe the idol of the Messiah he created is the most high in the flesh. Through this deception, the world is worshiping that false image of the Messiah that is truly Satan in disguise. Israelites, the scriptures must be fulfilled. Satan wanted to be worshipped like the most high. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Satan is getting the worship that he desired through the false Messiah. In addition, he is deceiving the whole world just as the scriptures state. You cannot let the alterations that came from the kingdom of darkness cause you to stumble, nor cause you to denounce the New Testament. If you were following the guidance from the Holy Spirit, you would see the scriptures are being fulfilled. When you are trying to interpret the scriptures through the flesh, you see what Satan wants you to see. There was a Messiah that did come in Yah's name. When the Most High open your understanding of the scriptures, you will see Yahshua through the altered text. Yahshua came to fulfill what was written about him. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Yahshua did not come to replace the Most High. That was a lie from the kingdom of darkness. Yahshua's mission was to lead the lost sheep back to the Most High, the Father. Yahshua was not seeking praise or worship. Yahshua told us to worship the Father. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Yahshua always gave praise to the Most High. Nowhere in the scriptures had Yahshua told us to worship him. Yahshua told us to seek and worship the Father. Yahshua told us to take heed to the teachings he left behind for us. If we follow those principles, we would find salvation. A controversial statement Yahshua said that many Israelites refused to accept. Yahshua told us the Father would give us anything if we ask in his name. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Many Israelites are forsaking the Messiah due to Yahshua saying to ask in his name. Israelites, Yahshua was our sin offering. Do not interpret his sacrifice the way the synagogue of Satan has interpreted the scriptures. Satan makes truth with lies. There is a difference between a sin offering and dying for our sins. We are still being held accountable for our sins. Remember, we had to sacrifice animals for a sin offering. The blood of the animals was not sufficient. It could not make an atonement for our sins. That is why the Israelites had to keep giving a sin offering. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Yahshua's sacrifice was enough to cover our sin offering. The Most High accepted Yahshua's sacrifice. This is why we do not sacrifice animals anymore. In addition to that, we are in the land of our captivity. We do not know who the Levites are, nor do we have our temple. If you can identify a Levite, he must be an ordained priest from Aaron lineage to make those sacrifices on our behalf. 
The only high priest I know is Yahshua. The life is in the blood. This is why Abel's blood was crying out to the Most High from the ground. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. When Yahshua was hung and the curtains that shield the Holy of Holies tore, the barrier between the Most High and his people was removed. That is why we can come to the Father freely. Giving a sacrifice is part of our culture. You can read throughout the Bible of our ancestors making a sacrifice to the Most High. Until this day, we have to give a sacrifice. Our sacrifice is fasting. If you do not accept Yahshua, sin offering on your behalf, then you must bring some sort of offering to the Most High for your sins. The wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. How are you making an atonement for your sins? Israelites, do not let pride and self-righteousness cause you to miss your salvation. If you listen to the Holy Spirit, he will reveal the truth to you. Some Israelites like to argue, no man can die for your sins. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. The scripture said no man, meaning our father, mother, or any of us living today could die for another person's sins. The reason they cannot take on another person's sins, they are full of sin themselves. How can they save you? Everyone is held accountable for his or her own sins. Yahshua was sinless. In addition, his sacrifice was not to take your sins away, but the penalty, which is death. Again, I will say to you, you are held accountable for your sins. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. This is why it is important to repent. The moment you can differentiate between Yah's truth and Satan's counterfeit, in addition, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, you will begin to see the scriptures in a new light. You have to humble yourself and cleave to the Most High. Many Israelites are taking the scripture study to show yourself approved out of context. You can study to gain wisdom. It is the most high that truly gives you wisdom and understanding. Yah is your teacher. Do not let self-righteousness get in between your personal relationship with the most high. Do not follow the popular trend. Do what the most high told you to do. It was the synagogue of Satan's purpose to exalt the false Messiah and turn him into a God in the New Testament. By making the Messiah the focal point, they were able to get the world to worship Satan. The Bible is not in chronological order. You must remove the division Satan placed in the Bible to cause confusion. Satan divided the scriptures by adding the term Old and New Testaments. Remove that terminology out of your mind. By doing that, you will remove the stigma that comes with the New Testament. When the Holy Spirit is guiding you, you will be able to see through the altered text. Another important detail I want to point out, the Old Testament is also altered. Some Israelites believe because it is the Torah, it is not altered, that is false. Israelites, the Most High did send the Messiah to save his people. Many Israelites are not taking heed to the teachings Yahshua taught. Just because you follow the teachings Yahshua taught our ancestors, it does not conclude you are idolizing the Messiah. When you start to worship and pray to the Messiah, that is when it becomes idolatry. Most of Yahshua's teachings was on how to love each other, treat each other with respect, important life lessons we are lacking in the Israelite community. It is important to the synagogue of Satan to teach the people to worship the false Messiah. Israelites, you have the freedom to choose what you want to do. The Most High gave you a choice. Before you reject the Messiah, ask the Most High to unseal the scriptures and give you understanding. Do not follow religion nor follow Hebrew Israelite teachers making up their own doctrines. There are plenty of wild doctrines in the Israelite community. Satan is behind the scene planting those wild doctrines. I ask that you do not blindly follow any teacher, group, camps, churches, and assemblies. Seek the Most High for yourself. Make sure the people you follow are encouraging you to seek the most high. In addition, leading you back to Yah. If they do not, you should question them. It would be a shame that you suffered all your life, Israelites. 
you live in captivity all your life. The Most High deliver you out of bondage. The Most High reveal your identity to you. Through your zeal, you begin to keep the statutes and commandments of the Most High. As you continue to seek the Most High, you decide to forsake the New Testament due to a lack of understanding. In addition to a lack of understanding, you choose to reject the Messiah due to fear. The Most High comes to gather his people. Yah turn to you and say, not you. It would be hard to finally see your freedom, but cannot receive freedom because the Messiah said, depart from me. I never knew you. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity.